Yo, 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 it's your boy, your boy Mill from Gully TV. I'm back. This is another installment. I'm going to enjoy this shit here. Um, I'm going to get right down to business. Listen, y'all remember that French Montana, Jim Jones situation I told y'all about last year? It did like almost 700,000 views on the internet. That's where everybody know me from when I'm all out in Cali and Vegas and all these different cities. They be like, yo, ain't you the... Yeah, from the Jim Jones French Montana fight. But listen, yesterday, they asked Jimmy about that shit on ESPN. And I got the footage. You dig what I'm saying? A lot of people had, I had to dismantle the comments on the actual video. A lot of niggas had a lot of crazy shit to say. It was just annoying. I don't give a fuck about what you niggas got to say. I don't give a fuck. I don't value y'all opinions or none of that shit. Listen, I told y'all about that shit last year. Did nobody in the world know about that shit but me, Skibo, French, Jim, and maybe one other person and shit. You know what I mean? The niggas that was standing on, the, on that corner when that shit transpired. I told y'all about it. Not, not Jim telling y'all about it. I ain't even gonna tell y'all his response. I'm just gonna let y'all see the, the question that was posed and I'm gonna let you see Jimmy's response. Shout out to Jim Jones and the whole dip set. This is Gully TV. I'm bringing that shit to y'all exclusive. That was a whole year. That was 14 months ago. Y'all go ahead and look, look at the, the footage that I put up about the Jim Jones French Montana fight because and, and search Gully TV because a lot, a lot of these niggas dick ride my story now and shit. You know, you got this DJ Academics nigga, he talking about it. And all these little monkey ass blogger niggas, they, they trying to ride the bandwagon and shit. But follow me on Instagram, man. The real Gully TV, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody involved. In uh, French Montana, you went up to French Montana and were looking for a fight, correct? You were, you were ready to fight and no fight was... So, do you have a favorite story? Do you have one of your personal favorites? Um, shout out to French. He's um, he's a lover, not a fighter. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't want no sauce with that. I don't. I think that would have been his best bet. I don't think he still want no sauce with that. So he should continue loving and, and enjoy his career and make the money he's making. Cause by chance he make that mistake, that's gonna be a bad mistake for his. But there's a lot of instances.